Um, so open up your feet just about hip distance. Take a nice bend in your knees. Reach the arms up over and stretch. And then exhale. Let that air go out through your mouth. Do that one more time. Nice bend in those knees. Reach up, stretch. And then exhale. Take a nice forward fold stretch. So let your hips open up. Let your butt pop up. And try to feel the backs of your hamstrings stretch out. Lowering your head down. Just doing something nice for your body, for your brain. Dropping in through the chin, towards your chest for three, for two, and for one. And holding on this forward fold, you just open up your hips, take it a little bit wider. So extend, opening up the feet, and then walk your hands over to one of your feet. And then once you've picked a foot, twist, rotating through that side of your torso to open up. And just try to feel a little bit more of a stretch through that side. For five, four, three, two, and one, and then take it down to the other side and walk it on over and then do that nice little twist, opening up from that side part, wrapping up that arm, reaching up towards the ceiling, towards the sky for five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it back down to your center. And from here, you just do a little bit of a knee and, and like soften. So you're just stretching out from that hamstring on that left side. And then on the right side, for a couple more, just get moving. A little bit chillier out here, even though I do know I was texting with my mom and she was like, it's actually warmer here in Ohio than it is in California. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, it is like the one time. So getting warm wherever you are, just getting your muscles to work and move for another three, for another two, and let's stretch up. Here's your one. So take it center, you guys stretch, reach the arms and overhead, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then exhale, your arms come down to your side. Shake it out, shake it out. And we're gonna get started with some moving squats down the length of our mat. So this is where if you guys do have a resistance band, grab it. If you're like, no, baby, I do not have one of those. Don't worry about it. But if you got one, might as well use it. And then place it so it's a little bit above where your knees are. And then we're going to start to walk opening in for the squat. So you can take the arms with you if you want. And then try to resist this band coming in. And if you don't have it, just pretend like you've got tension that you're pushing out away from. And then open up. If you've got hand weights, you guys, you can use it for an open fly. You can do... Um, just hands on your hips is going to be fantastic, or hands behind your back, whatever you want to do with your arms. You pick, but we've got about 30 more seconds just to open, sitting your hips back and down. Since I can't actually see you guys in human form, please double check, especially my newer students. Make sure when you guys are going to squat, you're not letting the knees knock in. You want to push down evenly through your feet. So just think about the toes and your heels pressing down, and then pulling your abs in. So you're sitting your butt back and down. And for those of you guys that do have lower back stuff, don't go quite so low. Limit your range of motion. You've got five. And then we're going to hold in four, three. Good job. Two, one. Hold your squat. Pull your belly button in and pulse your butt and hips back and down. So keep plugging your tiptoes down through your mat. Keep pushing your heels down. Try to make a little, like, claw, if you will, through those toes. And then sit your butt back a little bit further if you can. So you're pulling your belly button in. Tailbone goes behind you. For another 10, we're doing awesome. For another eight, please chill out whenever you need to. But in five, four, three, two, and one, bring the feet together. So now the knees are gonna squeeze in, pop your heels up, take it to the right away, and then drop the heels back down. So you're still working the pull in from your center, but when we do it, you guys think heels pop up, abs one, and then drop back down. So it's like a nice little calf raise. Knees squeeze in together. This is just for 15 more seconds, and then we don't do this one anymore today. We'll take a nice stretch. Arms are going to reach up towards the ceiling. Then give yourself credit for just moving. That's something. In four, three, two, one. Drop your heels down. Stretch the arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale. Stretch up your arms. Come out. And then pop your hips out. So take a stretch for the hip flexors. Again, for your lower back. Just pop out. Should feel nice. In two, and one. Let's step it forward. Get that our left foot. Right foot is going to go back. And you guys, this is a tap pulling in. The inside of this left ankle. So when we do it, hinge forward a little bit, make sure the heel on that back foot is popped up, and now tap and then reach. So as you're doing this pull, obviously it's going to be way more intense if you're pushing against the resistance band. And if you don't have it, just pretend like you do and you can exaggerate and move the hip out further. So think that length, feeling that hip, reach back, and then keep breathing. So again, from the forward, you just make sure you're also not going to knock into anything, uh, but you're also keeping the knees pointing directly forward. This is another one. Some of the tend to like widen out and hips so the knees will knock in. 
You want to think of the hip staying in the same alignment. And then just keep doing it for another 20 seconds. If you want to get your heart rate up a little bit more, go a little quicker. So you can speed up, think tap, reach, tap, reach. Make sure you're still breathing. Chest is open. Belly button is tight. 10 more seconds. Oops, and I'm, I just fell. Um, you fall, it happens. Get a chair, get something. In five, we're going to kick the leg to the side. In four, three, it's like a side little lunge. Two, and there's your minute, you guys. Take the right foot now, kick it to the right, and then resist it in. So none of this stuff has to be huge. Like, your movements can all be smaller, and if your low back is just feeling super funky, take a second, stretch, open up the hips, take a forward fold, get some water. But opening out, trying to feel the work through the outer thighs, um, and resisting in to work through the inner thighs. You've got about 30 seconds left on these ones, so if you guys want to go a little quicker, add the arms, hooray, do what's going to feel good, but hopefully this left leg is starting to burn and feel like as if you were pulling a wall sit for a couple of minutes. That's where you want to find the burn. Outer thigh, inner thigh, quad, and yoni. 15 seconds. Good job. Just keep kicking. Just keep lengthening. Push down with those front tip toes. And in 10 seconds, you don't need some anymore. In eight. And we've got the other leg to do. So you do have the other leg. In five. In four. Three. Two. And one. Good, you guys. Flip it. We're going to take it right into a plank. And then we'll come back in that other leg. So flip it long ways on your mat. And then walk yourself on out. Once you guys are in that plank, open up the feet so they pass hip distance. So you're going to feel some resistance um, pressing against those that side of your hips. Pull your belly button up and in. And now drop the knees down with the hips up. So make sure um, your hands are also pulled down in that nice high five. Flexing underneath your chest and then just drop and then lift. And then another thing also, you guys, um, your back is going to arch if stuff's starting to feel real funky in the abs or the shoulders. So if you feel like you're arching down, just lift the hips higher to modify or take a second. We've got eight in seven. So the hips higher is going to be better. Six, five, if you feel bad, and you're going back. Four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees down. Bring the feet back into the child's pose. So just stretch the arms out. Take a second to lengthen out those arms. Feeling where reach away from your chest. Head goes down. Mudge, you're supposed to hold me. He's kind of scared of the hardwoods. It's, we got we got a lot of... From what you can't see from where we moved, it was like we went from an apartment that had carpet, and now it's not, which is nice, but he slips. So there's just like rugs and random like towels everywhere for his little. You got one hand hips. Mudge. All right. So we're going to come back up, you guys. This time, we're going to come onto the elbows and then take those feet back hip distance apart. So hold your forearm plank, pull your belly button up and in. And from here, you guys, we're going to tap to the right with the right foot and then tap to the left. Modification for this puppy is on your knees. And you can just knee side to side. If the band is too aggressive for me, take it off. You do not need it. And then just keep trying your best to open up against that pull from the left, pull from the right. I can already tell I'm pulling my neck and shoulders. So if you also are doing that, it is okay. Pull the elbows back a little bit more. Pull the belly button up and in a little bit more. Then let's go a tiny bit faster for 10 more seconds. So feel outer thigh, squeeze the inner thigh. Here's your eight. Here's your seven. You can do it in six. In five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees down. Take a second to hinge back. Take that child pose again. Reach, reach, reach. And then let's slowly start to walk our hands back under the chest. You guys can keep the band on for this one. Just keep pulling up from the abs to round, curling through your lower back to feel the chest round down, letting the head drop down, and then release. Let your belly pop out. Let your butt pop out. And it feels good. Then it's well, cat cow. We'll do one more of those. So round up, and then we're going to do stand up again. Exhale, let it go, and go to the other leg. So just make sure you're not doing the same leg twice. We're going to go forward that right side. Just start off with that lunge, kick back. And three, two, one. You guys see this here? One. So go ahead, stand on up, you guys. Right foot in front. That left foot is back, and I'll take it. Then we got kick back, and it's the full minute, and you're doing awesome. So just breathe and extend. This time it's the right foot in front, so make sure you switch the, the legs. And if you forgot, that is okay. Um, the other thing to try to do on lunges, other than like letting your legs do the work, try to 
relaxing the upper body. Sometimes you don't realize it, and all the tension from life and everything else will just pull here. So think about lengthening back. So your butt is pulling back, the front foot that's plugging down is strong, stretching through the tailbone, and then tap that heel. And in less than 30 seconds, we're going to be going into a very exciting side kick instead. So we're working right now to push down through this front leg to get the hamstring, to get your glute, the quad, and then opening up from this left hip in 15. And you want to go a little faster, speed it up for your last 10, 9. And you guys keep facing whichever way you're facing. I always feel bad when I do the zooms and stuff. I just want you to try and like be able to see from more directions so you know where you're moving into. And one, kick it, and then resist it. So now we're trying to fight the tension from the inside. Maji, come here. Is it coming? Reach and pull. Lengthen, come over here. Come over here. Come say hi. Come say hello. Maybe Dave's taking class later. Maybe he was taking class later. Yeah. Give say hi. Maybe Michelle's taking it. Or maybe your huckleberry. Mudge misses you guys. He's getting so weird without having you been doing. I don't know. He likes where we moved to his next hip. There is like actual grass and stuff now. So you're being a happy boy. But not seeing everybody. For months on end at the studios. I think I told you guys a billion times. I used to take them to like pretty much everywhere I got to teach at. And he loved it. He really did it. Although he did not like bungee. Not a fan of bungee. Nobody did. Speed it up. Ten more seconds. I'm just annoyed with myself that I've been talking so much already. So just keep doing your best, you guys. Fight through it. For another five, four, three, two. And there's your one. Good, you guys. Keep the band on if you guys can. And then just open the hips a little bit wider. Take and extend the arms out wide your side, so reach, squat it down, and then lift the heels up, drop, and then lift the toes up. So we're going into, as Lindsay and Dan have done this for me, the rock is here. I think, I mean, it's not a Pilates term, the technical looking it up is the rocking horse squat, I don't know, whatever it is. We're trying to stabilize in through the core and then work to strengthen from the knees and those heels and ankles. So as you guys get the roll up, it should feel like a little bit of that way. Shake hands and legs and then pull back. And if the arms out here is too much, just bring the hands into prayer. You can do hands on your hips. Whatever is working for you, just keep trying. Lift up. Drop that down. There's 10 more seconds on these things. And then you do have a real funky chicken coming up with the band in 8, 7, 6, 5. You're doing awesome. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lift the heels up if you can. And then funky chicken. Good. Stephanie, also, if you're taking this class, you inspired me to add some funky chickens. Opening up and squeeze. Although nobody likes these, but they're really good for air thigh, our guy. For your last 10. And nine, you don't do these anymore. Eight and seven, band is done. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, you guys take the band off. And you can also go into a very lovely forward fold stretch. So just open up the hips a little bit wider with those feet. If you guys want to let the head drop down again. Relax in the shoulder, take an inhale, take an exhale, and then we're going to go ahead and come on down, this time to our right elbow, to extend ourselves out for a side plank. And this is one of those, again, please make sure when you're doing side planks, shoulder is going to be over top of the elbow, you guys aren't stretching out wide, so if you're doing the knee stacked, that's going to be easier, feet stacked is going to be harder, lift up so you feel this right side of your waist, and then just hold the first 15 seconds is just the hold. Stretching up from this top arm and just breathing. So again, modification, you need to get, kick the feet back so it's like a little kickstand and then you guys can lift up from there but still feel the right side. In two and one, take this top arm, thread the needle. So that top arm wraps under and then lengthen, lift it up. So you're opening up and around. You're working to strengthen that right oblique and squeezing your thighs together, lengthening and stretching all the way up and around for your next eight. In seven, in six, five, keep with it, in four, you got it, three, two, one, pull this top arm up, you guys, and now pulse it, up an inch down. So pulling up from this right side of your waist, lift, reach the arm up a little bit higher, ten more seconds, this one's over. In nine, in eight, seven, we're going to come to the tailbone, in six, five, four, three, two, and there's your one. Good, you guys, flip it, not flip it, but come on down to your tailbone. So we're going to lean back. Why do you all think pulling up and in through your belly button? Lean yourself back, but make sure you're popping up from the lower back so you're not sinking. You can take the hands together from here 
and then we're going to reach up to the right side, lower yourself halfway down, reach up, left side, lower yourself halfway down. So as you guys do these, you can make it further on that lowering and lifting if you want it to be more intense. If you're a little bit newer, just keep it simple. Just do a little up and a little back because we're working to pull in from those abdominal muscles, but I don't want, there's enough stress without you trying to overcompensate by going super, super low. Um, so don't hurt your back. Make it, make it work for you. For these next 10, I'm going to go a little bit slower. For these next eight, in seven, in six, we're going to stretch the legs all the way out. Five, four, three, two, and one. So try to hold the arms up, stretch those legs out, reach the arms a little bit further away from your chest. Just pull the belly button in more, and now pulse it back an inch, up an inch. So just lowering a couple inches, lifting a couple inches, and then continue to find that breath. Reach through, and then lower, and then reach through. You're almost there. Point the toes, so stretch the tops of those feet if you can. You've got, this time, uh, there's still 15 seconds right here. I know I was there. At the end of these 15 seconds, we're gonna lower all the way down to laying down onto our backs. Legs are gonna come up to a tabletop position and we're gonna go right into the lower abdominal crunch. In three, two, and one. Try to lower all the way down. Now bring the legs up to a tabletop. Head, neck, and shoulders are gonna lift. Round up in the spine, so pull the knees towards your nose. And then exhale, bring it back down. Try and stop your arms right above your chest too. So you're pulling in from the lower belly. Reach the arms out, tiny little ball, pull in, and then drop. So opening and essentially lengthening up from the upper body, extend it, and then crunch forward and up. And you can do hand weights with this one too, you guys. I just, I had them, and then honestly, they got put into a box somewhere that got moved. And I don't know, I mean, I didn't like doing hand weights or any of this, but I really don't know where they scampered off to. We've got seven seconds. The hand weights for this step will make all the harder. Six, in five, try to hold that crunch part in four, three, two, and one. Hold the crunch, you guys reach the arms out further and now pull the knees towards your nose. So get the lower abs in, try to stretch the arms out further as you do those knees pulling in towards your chest. This is for 10, you got it. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your head down, drop your feet, Drop the hips and then just do a little side to side on that left and on that right. Take a nice breath in, take a nice breath out. We're going to bring those legs back up to your tabletop position. Take the hands this time to a V shape and then we're going to crunch, pull the arms into our sides and then open back out again. And if you want this harder, you guys can stretch the legs out as you do it and then forward. If you were like, nope, I'm good, then just keep doing legs at tabletop. But try to find the arms pulling into your hips, exhale that air out. Try to think about flattening down through your abs as the arms pull in, and then open. So lengthening out your body, and find that nice breath, not knocking into a table, and then just keep doing it. We've got 10 more seconds right here, and then you're going to hold your legs if you can, stretched out in front of you. That's in five, four, three, two, one. See if you can stretch those legs out, and now we'll crisscross those legs. So stretch the tips toes, pull the belly button in, so think strong in the core, chin is up off of your chest, You're doing awesome. This is for 10. A little bit lower if you can. Eileen, Alicia, I know you guys can go lower, so try to go a little bit lower. Stronger from the middle. Here's your two, there's your one, chain it up, little kicks. So chin is still up off the chest. Maybe you want to take your arms, reach a little higher, add that upper ab curl. Five, you're almost there, you guys. Four, three, two, and one. Those are done. Pull your knees back into your chest. Do that little rock like a ball. And then come on up. So if you don't need um, support from the hands, so come on up. Bring it on up. And then left elbow is going to come on down. You have got your side plank on that left side. So make sure, again, the left elbow is underneath this left shoulder. Knee step easier. Feet step harder. And then pop it on up for your side plank. It's a full minute. You're almost done. You're doing awesome. You can not, not do any of this. Um, you can take your breaks whenever you want. It's a beautiful thing doing this just for you. Trying to do something nice for your brain, for your muscles. We're going to thread the needle in three, two, and one. Top arm, thread it, and then wrap all the way back up. So extending, opening up, 
and then pulling through underneath that side of your waist. You're also working this left tricep. So if you're like, yes, it's my shoulder. You feel that shoulder or tricep that's good. If it feels bad, don't do it. Come to the knees, make sure the elbow is right underneath that shoulder or modification. Just go on a bicycle kick, that's fine. Don't get her, hold it up right here. Hold it and now pulse it up. So reach this top arm up, try to look towards the fingertips that you're extending from and just do your best. Because you're done with this one in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring yourself down now. So I want you guys to, cr uh, not cross, but bring this left knee in front with this nice little bend. Take the back leg, extend it, and then reach this arm up that um, side stretch to the side of your torso. So it should feel good on that side of your waist. Opening up. Big breath in, big breath out, and then go ahead and switch you guys. Just pull the other knee in and around, and then send the other leg back, and then open up. Mm -hmm. this doesn't feel really good, but nice work. So just breathe, breathe, breathe. We're going to go into another plank next. Um, and then it's not super long class, so right? It's a quickie. All right, guys, so shake it out, shake it out, and then let's come on down to our elbows. So when you're ready, come back on to those arms. Extend the right leg back, extend the left leg back. You're going to that elbow for the pull. From here, you're going to do a little step out with the right foot. After that right foot is stepped out, try to pull the knee up towards where the shoulder is, and then extend that leg all the way back, and then switch it. So you're opening up the left foot now outside. And then try your arms to pull the knee to the outside of that elbow and then strengthen by pulling back in. Now, if this is too hard to add this pull part to it, don't do it. You guys just do the step out to the side and then pull from there. Or you can also come on to your hands. Honestly, doing this on the palms will be a little bit uh, more helpful for anybody that is finding this just seeing the shoulders or your lower back. I just always feel bad. Uh, Oh, having us do too much on the wrists. So if you do, like, I mean, so many of you guys are typing for, like, all of the day for work and whatnot, and texting and everything with that wrist help, it might start to feel funky. So if you could also need to, make a fist, have that wrist align that you straight, and then go from there. But you've only got 10 more seconds. Our down dog is coming up in nine. We keep on breathing. In eight. In seven. Pull the shoulders back. In six. You're doing awesome, you guys. Five, four, I know you are. Three, two, and one. Open up those heels and hips. Drop the feet down. Let your head drop and just shake out the head. Put the knee pedal to the right and to the left. Opening up the hips. Maybe it feels nice to draw the chin into your chest. And up slowly, you start to walk those feet back towards where our hands are. And then hold on your forward fold. So you guys let your hips open up. Let your head relax to the side to side. Big breath in. Big breath out. Soften those knees and now you guys round up. Think about that stretch. Vertebra by vertebra. Lift up, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, your arms come down. And then let's go into a little stretch for the upper body. So you guys can keep the hips and heels wide, but pick an arm, either arm, and then stretch it across your body. Once you guys have that arm stretched across, go ahead and twist through the torso just to get a little bit more on that side of your waist. Good range. And then bring it back center. That same arm that you guys are pulling, reach that arm across and then lengthen that other arm. Just feel the side waist and stretch. And then let me circle it down to this top arm. You guys reach, circle under through. And then you can bring that arm up and then just shake it out, shake it out. And then you the other arm. So bring the arm across. And then once you're into it, you can take and extend across your body that way. Just giving yourself credit for working out, for doing anything. I'm proud of you. Miss you guys. I'm going to try and get something more consistent on here. I know I won't be able to be every Monday at 4 anymore because I don't know. I'm filming. I feel like you guys miss all of the studios that are still open. I'm recording in virtual. I'm lucky enough to be able to record some virtual classes for them, but they're all at the studios. And then, I mean, you guys know I struggle enough getting this set up for myself. So trying to do it with like, the real stuff by myself is not easy. Um, so it takes longer than I wish it would to stretch up. Um, so that's also why now if, the, if you guys are taking my Zoom classes, I'm also sorry. That's why some days I can't do a Zoom. Like it took me five hours to record two hours worth of something. Whatever. All right, guys, reach down. One of these, one of these months, get open up and around, and then extend up. 
Good, you guys. And once you're finished, just do a little wiggle through the arms, through the knees. Big breath in, reach up overhead, stretch. And then exhale, let it go. That is it. Thank you very much for joining.